four runs per game. This year, 10.1. Now Castle drills it to left field. Well, this time the wall will be no match. Up, up, and away over that great green monstrosity. Mount Castle ties the game at three. Right side from Westbrook. That ball driven deep. That ball at the wall. That ball is a game winner. Westberg with a wild, wild walk-off. Orioles. High in the air to center field. This ball driven deep by O'Hearn. and Taylor's at the wall. And this ball clears it. It's the first home run of the season for Ryan O'Hearn. And he gives the Orioles a second inning lead in Pittsburgh. Boy, big time there, huh? 104. And my review is, I'd like to have it more often. Henderson hooks one in the ear, deep to center field. Michael Taylor chasing this one back, and it's off the top of the wall and gone! Well, the Orioles have taken aim at center field twice. Ryan O'Hearn and Gunnar Henderson way up the middle. A couple of solo shots off the young Jones, and the O's have the first two. Doubled in another against Stratton, an inherited run scored. Mullins, right side, he pulls it down the line. That ball is gone. Barely had a moment to breathe. Cedric Mullins hooks it inside the pole, his second home run of the season, and the Orioles' three-run lead is restored. Oh, the Orioles playing a little long ball today now. Third down five nothing, just two innings ago. Westberg drives one deep into center field. Jordan yes. Westberg has given the Orioles the lead. A weaver to the monster. It's seven to five, and they've come all the way back in just two innings. Doubled into the corner in the second. They're not changing, and Colton's not changing either. And that ball is gone. His first major league home run is up on the top of the green monster. Oh, when will they learn? Because the milkman can cover the ball on the outside part of the plate. He has shown it. He's shown it in AAA, and he has shown it at the big league level here. Greg Weissert is on to face Anthony Santander. Who lines one down the right field side. That ball is Go. fair inside the pesky pole. And the Orioles take the lead. An insane sequence of events results in the Orioles' first lead tonight. My goodness. How quickly does it change? Red Sox couldn't turn a double play. Should have been an ending inning double play. Instead, you bring in the reliever, White. And Gunnar Henderson hits the ball over his head. Monster shot. The Orioles have the lead. A good matchup it was indeed. He just has a knack for it. And I mean a rocket opposite field tank by Gunnar Henderson. Make it his third long ball of the year. Colton Cowles are swinging. I would not be shocked if he swung 3-0 here. Oh, he swung 3-0. Deep to right field. Holy Cowser! First Major League home run in the fifth. Second Major League home run in the tenth. And a six-run bonanza for the Orioles and extras. Come on now, Milkman. He has delivered in this series in a big way. 114. For what's been a really incredible start. Cowser drills one. Deep right field. Way back there and gone. He's got another one.
extra base hits in 12 games. Very good start. And a 3-1 pitch here is Clobber. High, deep, and way, way out of here to left. Well, that, my friends, wind or no wind, that is a long ball right there. One eleven off the bat by Mounty. You talk about go up top shelf and get one, too. Second homer of the year, ninth RBI for Mount Castle. Last year. It's 2-2 for Westbird. Jordan swings, sends a fly ball out to right center. That's well hit. Up in the wind and out of here. Well, that's a rude awakening for D.L. Hall in what has been an inglorious return for him and a glorious first inning for his old team. Hey, Mount now. Castle and Westberg. The elbow ligament, it's always something a little serious and, and touchy. Adley Rutschman with a high and deep drive out toward that bullpen, and that ball's gone. Adley Rutschman's first home run of the season puts the Orioles back on top. Wow, we all been waiting for that right there. Adley Rutschman and a long ball, and I tell you what, the birds have the long stroke work at a different times for the Brewers. Mullins. In the air to right field. That ball is headed for the flag courts. The hits just keep on coming for Cedric Mullins. His third home run of the season gives the Orioles a second inning lead. Yeah, I'd say he's getting pretty well locked in. Six game hitting streak now. For that game, he's been a little banged up of late. Get up. Ryan O'Hearn into right field. Ryan O'Hearn out of right field. First pitch swinging, and the Orioles are back on top. O'Hearn's second RBI in as many at-bats today. Turn and burn O'Hearn. How about this one? 107 off the bat. His second long ball of the year. His second RBI of the year. Kowser drives one the other way to right, and Colton Kowser does it again. His fourth home run in the last four games. The first four of his big league career. The he opened the man, floodgates huh? at Fenway, and the milk just... Gets his first day off of the year. And O'Hearn belts one into center field. Straight away shot. O'Hearn, oh yes! Second straight game with a home run for Red Hot Ryan. Turn and burn O'Hearn, and this is a bomb, folks. I mean a bomb. 109 off the bat, 435 feet, his third long ball. Late in the game, kind of old-school Justin Verlander style. Mullins, high fly ball to right field. Down the line, will it stay fair? You bet it will! Have yourself a night, Cedric Mullins. Yeah, he's had himself a pretty good six or seven games now. Boy, the Orioles continue to hit the long ball. He was designated for assignment Saturday. And Henderson destroys it. Look out below. My goodness, huh? How about 108 off the bat? Bowman tries a little backdoor cutter, and Gunnar Henderson would have all of it. And I mean all of it as he powers it out. Kowser scores all the way from first base with two out. And Henderson takes the next pitch out to right. Up near the wall and up over the wall. A flag court flyer and another home run for Gunnar Henderson. His fifth of the season, and just like that, Three runs in the blink of an eye, and they've got the old school homer hose of the bullpen. First pitch swing, high fly ball, deep left field, out toward the wall, home run Westberg. Oh, it would not stop carrying until it cleared the great wall. And Jordan Westberg's assault on Major League pitching continues against Minnesota. 2-2 for Ryan. Oh, oh my goodness, Clobber. Kidding me, 
Brown. Way out there. Is Buxton going to get this one? No, he almost did, though. But this time, O'Hearn beats him. Ryan tipped his cap to Buxton last time out. This time, we'll give him a little wave after the Orioles' third home run yet again. Goodness, huh? Turn and burn O'Hearn. We're the one-two again. Henderson destroys it. Right center field, Gunner bidding for another home run. He's done it! A leadoff long ball, and Gunner Henderson has put up six home runs by April the 17th. <laughs> what are you going to say? Gunner Henderson coming into this game had a four game hitting streak. He was hitting. Afternoon right now. Santander smokes one in the left. Margot will watch it out of here. A delivery to the splash zone. Mr. Splash is looking for the ball. He's got it. He's got the hose. And Santander splashing and smashing this game into a 2-2 tie. Never hit a walk-off home run. Until now, maybe. Deep right field. Cedric Mullins! Good night! Sweet dreams, Minnesota! Cedric Mullins with the first walk-off home run of his career. Ending a sensational series. Bias that we and all of you out there would have. Rutschman tags it into left field. Well struck. Adley Rutschman. Melendez at the wall. It's over it. Grand slam Rutschman. And the Orioles with one titanic swing are right back in this thing. Come on now, kid. That's exactly what the birds needed right there. It's an important baseball for him to keep. Kowser drives one out to right center field. Hit high, hit deep. Colton Kowser into the fountains. He threw one there last night. He hit one there today. Colton Kowser. That's the definition of yeeting a baseball. And it's 1-0 Baltimore. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Jordan Westberg on the next pitch. That's a tank out to left center. Westberg splashes down just in front of the fountains. And Kowser and Westberg go back to back in the third. Seth Lugo had not given up a home run this season. And now back to back jacks by the Orioles. Kowser and can't down the left field line. That ball is crushed. Will it stay fair? Yes, it will. James McCann inside the pole. That's his first home run of the season, and that puts the Orioles on the board at the big A. Well, first home run, he's been hitting well with not a lot of opportunities with runners in scoring position, but then again, almost every. And of course, that's what McCann hit. Oh, that is oh. real. Oh boy, did it sound good from Colton Kowser. And it looks good too. Another left on left home run. Colton Kowser. And they're moving from behind the Oriole dugout here in Anaheim as Kowser turns the bases with home run number six. That ball's crushed. High and deep down the line. It's a moon ball from Gunner. Oh, my word. Deep into the Anaheim nine, and Henderson strikes against a lefty to make it 7-4. to four. Well, he had 28 home runs last year, 25 against right-handed pitching. It's not that I haven't been playing baseball, you know. <laughs> Uh, oh, here's a long fly ball. Gunnar Henderson out to right toward the wall. Gone. It is gone. Albert, I'm you're right doing there. great. Yeah. Good start. Gunnar Henderson hits a home run for the second straight day, his eighth of the season, and the Orioles strike first. Great soccer player, basketball player. And then, of course. There you go. That ball's demolished. Mullins, flag court. 
Orioles take the lead. Number six for Cedric. Break out the bullpen, Homer Hoes first. And the Iron Man will stand and applaud as the O's jump on top. That ball drilled deep left field. Adley Rutschman over the wall. Wow. Three home runs on the season. They've all come from the right side. And that ball was tanked. Yeah, you can just thrown a home run in his last three starts only. Ryan Mountcastle trying to double up. Deep left. He does. Into the front row. And on back-to-back -back pitches, the Orioles smash back-to-back -back homers. Well, how do you do? Wow. J.P. Sears is going to take a little stroll behind. Dancing back and forth, there he goes for third, and there goes Henderson for Utah Street. Down the line, it is gone! Well, you can walk the rest of the way home, Jorge. It's another no-doubter from Gunner, number nine in the first month. Yeah, if you don't think that speed bothers pitchers, it penalizes both team's hitters. That ball whacked deep left center. Adley Rutschman out toward the bullpen, and it's gone! And opposite field, a home run for Rutschman, his first home run from the left side this season. And he's homered in back-to-back -back games as he brings the O's back within one. Well, we told you. Franchises in the American League for such a long time. That ball drilled center field. Mount Castle out toward the wall and gone. Oh, did he power that swing? Ryan Mount Castle and Adley Rutschman with home runs in the same inning for a second straight day. And the Orioles are back on top. For the game, just saw Jeff and Brett and Rob. In the air to right, Ramon Arias goes the other way. Ramon Arias hits it out. Oh. Another home run. Oh, tee it high and let it fly. The ball is sailing out of here today. And that is the first of the season for Ramon Arias. Make it six to four O's. Seven pits to Gunner leading off the game, and Henderson drills it right field down the line. That's a Gunner. Oh, that thing got out of here in a nanosecond. Another leadoff gunner stunner, and the Orioles jump on top.